All right, it's time to talk about more ridiculous films from like the 40s. Yeah. Today I'm talking about one another one of those taboo films that I was telling you about. Um, this one's called Mad Youth. Uh, it was released May 5th, 1940, starring Betty Compson, Mary Ainsley, and Betty Atkins. It was written and produced by Willis Kent and directed by Melville Shire. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Anyways, he's done films like The Road to Ruin, The Man from Hell, The Murder in the Museum, and uh, Racketeers of the Range. Some interesting ones. Um, so yeah, Mad Youth basically is um, a, a melodrama, I guess you call it. Um, yeah, so it's an indiscreet mother and her um, neglected daughter. So the mother likes ordering escorts and going out with them. Like paying dudes to go out on dates with her and stuff. Even though she's like married and stuff. It's a little odd, but, um, yeah, so she kind of, like, neglects her daughter, and her da daughter becomes, like, a partier and is wild and stuff like that, and her and her friend, uh, they go to, they, there's a cool, like, little swing number in it and stuff like that, like the jitterbug and stuff, which is, like, a three-minute dance-off, it's pretty funny, uh, but, yeah, it's pretty interesting to see that, but, um, yeah, they basically, um, go off and, uh, um, what do you call it? And so, basically, one, the girl that's in a relationship's boyfriend or whatever you want to call it, uh, basically forces them into prostitution, even though they don't want to. And then it ends up having to sort of, like, somewhat like the style and stuff like that. Now, this is uh, taboo because uh, most of the... This is uh, the style some young girls were looking up to and stuff like that. They're like, wow, look at these women. They have all this money. And then they basically go off and uh, join it. And it's not as glamorous as it looks, apparently. So this was a film made to try to deter people from that. Uh, even though the ending basically contradicts it. <laughs> um, this film was, it's not that badly made. It was well acted. It is a melodrama, so it's pretty boring for half of it. Um, but once things start kicking off, it gets a little interesting. A little, uh, a little bit predictable. But overall, it was, like, somewhat enjoyable. Like, it wasn't the best thing out there. It's only, like, an hour long, so you don't have very much time to invest in like real deep characters or anything like that but it makes its point across which is like what these films were trying to do back in the day and which i find interesting because it's just like wow that was actually a little well-crafted film for uh back then um nowadays it's a little bit laughable you definitely won't see a film like this uh um pretty much at all nowadays uh, either it'll be censored to shit, or it'll be, um, rated R, and ten times worse. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this was, it's pretty tame for, uh, this, what the subject matter is, um, and they don't really tread on it lately, but also 1940s was way different. 1930s to, like, the 60s at least the films are sort of like plays almost and stuff they're like stage productions almost that's what it looked like anyways and um yeah so it's more like an interesting little way of trying to deter people from something um yeah there's not much to it though so um i don't really have much to say about it because that's why uh so mad youth is a fun time somewhat like, it's a good sort of, like, young teen sort of, like, film. And then all of a sudden it goes a little more serious to a melodramatic thriller near the end and stuff. Well, a ridiculous outcome, to be honest. Uh, yeah, Mad Youth, I'm giving probably just a 2 out of 5 because, well, well, it had an interesting concept and stuff like that. You do not care about anyone. And uh, it's absolutely just... A little good time waster if you have the time. It's free on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, check it out if you uh, want to see it. But don't, you don't have to go out of your way to see it. It's nothing special or anything like that. So, yeah, Mad Youth was not 
that bad. So, yeah, two out of five from me. Uh, I'll try to link the either the whole film or some clips or something like that down below so you can see what I'm talking about if it sounds interesting. Uh, but yeah, also make sure you check out my Instagram down below where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my stories. So make sure you follow me there. I usually have the film title and a hashtag. So, yeah, you can either uh, guess what I'm watching or just try to find it or just hope that I talk about it in the next video. So, yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram, stay in the loop. Oh, and I also put the film subgenre in, in the film clip as well, just so you're aware of it. So, yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram, stay in the loop. Um, like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you've seen it. Uh, did you find it as boring as I did, or did you actually love this film? I'd love to hear what you thought of it, so make sure you comment those down below. Also, if you have any films at all, it doesn't have to be anything from the 40s or anything uh, uh, that you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below, too. I'll try to get them as soon as I can, and if I can find them. And also, don't forget to subscribe, because I'm almost done with all these taboo films, and I'll start talking about new stuff again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for uh, and go more into like horror and stuff like that. So, yeah. But, yeah, so make sure you subscribe because you never know what I'm going to talk about next. And that's about it for today. So, I guess I'll see you in the next one, which I'm pretty sure I found another good film, sort of like Reefer Madness. It's called The Marijuana Menace. Uh, I think it's called by a different name, but we'll see you in the next video. So, yeah, that should be the next video. So, I'll see you then. Cheers.